Yo, 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 you already know, it's your boy, Freddy Yo. What's up, my Canaverse crew? What's up, my Afria crew? Guys, we have come to the day, guys. It is the day. Uh, Afria has earnings tomorrow, January 14th. Uh, guys, I'm gonna go into some details. Why are things that I think could make the stock pop tomorrow that are very likely to happen? Okay, uh, you already know it's your boy, Freddy Yo. It's your first time, subscribe to my channel and smash that like for your boy and hit the little bell guys because i'll be doing this on the daily 2021 your boy is not stopping i'm making money how am i gonna stop you know what i mean all right guys so let's go let's start off after you broke ten dollars today guys congratulations after your crew the king of the north hit that ten dollars a share which is a big deal uh you know if you if you've been with me you bought in back in the early fours uh you know what i mean you, you uh, you're over 100 percent right now Congratulations, if you've been with me that long, you know what I mean, you're, you're making that money. Don't be afraid, you know, take a little profit, you'll have some fun with your money, man. Don't just wait for something bad to happen, man. Enjoy that. Uh, remember, uh, I'm not an analyst, I'm not you. You do you, do your own research. All right, let's go. Things that can make Africa go up, guys, tomorrow during earnings that I want to hear about personally, all right? Obviously, we know, number one, USA expansion, Afria. Let's go. Give us that USA expansion. Talk about it, okay? We know the Senate seats flip. The whole world knows the Senate seats flip. You know what I mean? Let's go. We know nothing's going to get blocked anymore. Cannabis legislation is finally going to go. Decriminalization is finally going to disappear. And uh, finally, we, we can start having some recreational cannabis um, stuff going on in the United States, all 50 states eventually. Let's go. Right? I do believe, like I said in my last video, guys, uh, I compare Africa what they're doing in Canada to what they're going to do in the U.S. Uh, Canada has 300 or 30 million people, three zero million people, right? USA has 10 times that amount. So I can only assume that that means that they're going to have higher uh, access to people which means more revenue, more, more people, more revenue. That's what I'm taking. And we already know USA has the highest uh, market cap for cannabis that will be in the future. We all know that. We know Americans will spend 70% of Americans approve of cannabis in the United States. Who cares about the other three people? I'm sorry. Move on with your life, you old fashioned. Uh, I ain't going to finish that. Uh, anyways, guys. Hope, uh, another thing, hopefully, like I said, hopefully they are picking up pace. But I want to hear about Simon picking up his pace, hopefully, you know what I mean? I don't know what this guy's going to do. I don't know what's going to happen there, Ernie. But like I said, Canopy Growth picked up the pace. They said, oh, crap, we're not going to, we know that the things are speeding up in the U.S. We're going to have some legal cannabis sometime, hopefully in the end of 2021 or uh, early 2022. You know what I mean? That's very soon. So they went from... Uh, coming to the U.S. in 2022, they're coming now 2021. They're not going to wait. You know what I mean? They want to capitalize on the markets that are coming, the news that's coming. Investors, get in now. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Don't wait for the big money to beat you and then, you, and then you're just, you know, helping big money out. Let big money help you, after your crew. Wow, I sound like a commercial, right? Help you, after your crew. All right, anyways, guys, number two on my list. More talk about purchase of Sweetwater Brew Co. As we all know, after you made that purchase, we're, I'm sure we're going to hear about it tomorrow. Uh, what I think about that, man, uh, we know Sweetwater uh, does some of the best uh, craft brew, brew beer in the world. And uh, they're very, very popular with young people. And uh, you know what I mean? Even airlines, Delta is, is, is uh, this sells their beers you know what i mean this is a this is a big company already and afria is now the owner of them they bought it for i think 300 million and um this place has 27 different distributors throughout the united states you know what i mean that's a good place to start for afria they're headquartered in georgia which is great i think atlanta georgia guys i want to go visit that place afria uh give me some free tickets hook up your, your boy uh so i can go see these people and i can interview them that would be dope but I'm not there yet. I'm not YouTube famous yet. I want to get there. Um, also, guys, with Sweetwater, they'll be able to do in, uh, cannabis infused drinks, guys. Cannabis infused drinks. We all know uh, the market's changing. Edibles are picking up. Pe some people uh, only want a little buzz instead of just being really high as hell or, you know, 
whatever. So there's there's new things coming out, new ways to, you know, you don't have to go to the, uh, get drunk at the bar. Now you can have a nice little high buzz at the bar with these cannabis infused drinks, which is pretty cool. Another thing cool about Sweetwater, Sweetwater will be able to distribute their beer in Canada because you know, I don't know if they're in Canada, but you know what I mean. You, uh, Sweetwater's in USA now; they're owned by a Canadian company. Now they can go over there and do more business. So you know they're already killing in the USA. Now go bring that cool beer into Canada. And I know, I know a lot of Canadians are on my on my are on my subscribers, and all you guys are dope, man. You guys are the most laid back, chill people. I've been to Canada, man. Place is the bomb. I can't wait to go back. Shout out to Canada. You already know. Smash that like if you're Canadian. Um, anyway. Next thing, guys, I want to hear about that I'm sure it has to be. Don't I don't see why progress would have stopped, but I want to hear progress on dispensaries opening up, guys. All right, uh, dispensaries opening up in Canada. I want to hear that they are opening more dispensaries, which means more access to customers and more revenue, right? If they can get, you know, if they can start to spread those wings and spread those branches. We could start hitting, you know, obviously more, more uh, market. You know what I mean? So, and we know the only thing slow that that's not open that that causes dispensaries to go open is time. So we just been having to wait. You know what I mean? So I want to hear that the progress that there's been making progress. Is, you know, hopefully that with more dispensaries means more products sold. Obviously, you know what I mean? So big deal, guys. Uh, that's a big thing I'm looking forward to hearing. I hope the dispensaries are opening up in Canada. Let's go, Canada. Lastly, guys, I'm not going to go into a lot of details on it because I don't know a lot about it. But the Tilray merger, guys, that's the fourth thing I want to hear about. We might not hear about it. I don't know. But um, what's it called? Uh, Tilray merger. Uh, my bad. My friend just sent me a message. <laughs> um, I, I think it's going to be a big deal, big catalyst thing. Um, obviously, Tilray gets us into the USA as well. Um, they have connections with Budweiser or something like that, Anheuser-Busch, which is great. You know what I mean? Let's network, network, become the best, one of the best companies in the world. As you guys know, in all my previous videos, guys, I have like a hundred videos. I don't know, but I owe, and some of them I mentioned, I want Neo to become the Amazon of cannabis. Or, I said Neo, I'm sorry. I want Afria to become the Neo of can. I quit. I want Afria to be the Tesla and the Amazon of cannabis. All right. Woo, that was hard. This is live, guys. Your boy's freaking live, man. Um, so that would be dope, man. I do believe that they're 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 gonna be that big of a company. I don't think they're gonna be the same market, you know. So, uh, but for cannabis, I think that uh, Afri is setting themselves up to be the big dog in cannabis. It's like Tesla's the big dog in cars. Amazon is the big dog in e-commerce. You know what I mean? So I hope Afria, come on, big dog, bring your shareholders some money, all right? Guys, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna leave you with something special, all right? I've been wanting to do this in all my videos. I always forget. Your boy always forgets, but it's the perfect time because it's 2021, a new age. Cannabis will get legalized eventually, decriminalization. But I leave you guys with this. Um, one of my favorite quotes from any movie, and we all have seen this movie because we are all Jim Carrey fans. It's called Me, Myself, and Irene, guys. All right, and it has to do with cannabis, all right? Me, myself, and Irene, there's a part in the movie where Irene is talking to FBI agents and she doesn't know what the heck is going on. She's confused, and so she says these words. So I smoke a little pot. What is that, a crime? And the FBI agent responds, yes. Yes, it's a crime. Thank God, guys, it's 2021. And stupid little comments like that, even though it's funny as hell to hear, thank God that will be the past. You know what I mean? We're moving forward, guys. Um, I hope that made you laugh because that movie is hilarious. Go watch me, myself, and Irene again. That movie is awesome. But yeah, guys, you already know, it's your boy, Freddy, yo. I hope I entertain you guys. Um, tomorrow's a big day. I'll see you guys on the other side of earnings. Uh, if you could, smash that like. And subscribe to my channel, guys. Daily content. Deuces.